Hey, uh, welcome back, and we're going to go over uh, D-Mule for Naomi uh, one more time. Um, I have gone through and done a lot of updates when it comes to uh, Naomi. Um, the problem that I was having, now, not all of y'all may have this problem, but with me and probably some others as well. Uh, the settings in certain games, like two main ones is House of the Dead 2 and the uh, Ninja Assault just wouldn't save. So to um, fix that, there's a few things I had to do. And um, it's going to sound like it's a lot you'll need to do, but it's really not since we've already done a lot of work in the previous video. So I would highly advise to do this anyways, even if you aren't having problems or notice you have. This is just going to make things run more fluid and more importantly, more stable. Now, my mistakes... The biggest one I made was we downloaded the wrong ROM set for that. So instead of the merge, we should have done the split. Now to find this, I usually don't show this, but I've been on this thing for three days, so I am beyond burnt out. So we'll go to a Pleasure Dome, GitHub IO, Pleasure Dome. We're going to click on non mame and you're going to want Demol. Now these are going to be the correct BIOS and the correct ROMs to use. So just click that. Yeah, I've already downloaded these. Trust me, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Just remove that. <clears throat> so I'll go through and download them. And I'll show you my download list here. Or actually, we'll, we'll do it again. So, uh, just re-download all the ROMs you already have. I think there's only seven of them. So, just come through here and find your uh, seven ROMs. You know, it should just be your... It should just be your um, Confidential Mission, Ninja Assault, House of the Dead 2, um, Mesa King, Maz, uh, Lupin the Third. And a couple more, should be seven all together. And also be sure to get your CHDs. And you only want to need three of them, which is going to be Confidential Mission, um, Lupin the third, I believe. Yeah, so it'll be uh, Lupin Show and um, Maze of Kings. Only three you'll need. Download them. Once you uh, downloaded them, um, come over to your your um, launchbox build. Give me a second to find mine. All right, so this is the one I want to use. This is the uh, main one that I've been showing for you all. I've tested this method out three times and I've gotten stability on all three tests. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to re-download Naomi reset it up but again trust me it's not going to be bad so we're going to go to our emulators and we're going to do that for um both house of the dead 2 and a uh, demo i know it sounds like a lot but trust me it's not going to take as long um the good thing about it all this is already set up within launchbox so we don't need to do anything in launchbox because these directories are still going to be the same so once we get the um, new roms in the new emulator set up then we're going to be good so we just uh, open your demo and just trash everything just trash it. This is all garbage for now. All right, now come to your house that I did too, and do the same thing. Take it, trash it. Okay, so now we have uh, still have our emulator folders, which we'll need. 
Now we're going to uh, download our Demol. Click on your site. Get the uh, latest bill, which has been the latest bill since 2018. All right, open your zip file. Um, also, if you're running Windows, if you're running, you got 7 zip. Go to your properties, um, unblock it. No, it's already unblocked, so we're good. Unblock, apply. Okay, that just ensures that everything comes through that needs to. Open up your emulators, and we want to drop this in both House of the Dead 2 and Demol. Um, you do want to run these separate and not copied over. Uh, it came to find out it actually does corrupt where the House of the Dead 2 folder stores its save files. So we're just going to put this here. Open up your house at that too and repeat. Open up Demol. All right, so we are good on here. Create your ROMs folder. ROMs, find your ROMs that you downloaded. It should look like this, a Demol split folder. We'll want both ROMs and CHDs. Um, also make sure whenever you're downloading them that you also include these Naomi BIOS. So anything that says Naomi, be sure to grab them. So you should see Naomi and Naomi 2 have all your ROMs here. Um, whenever you're uh, checking them, be sure you get um, all the versions. So if you have Deathcox, get Deathcox O. And I believe this Deathcox O is the one that does work. So be sure you don't forget that. House of the Dead 2, House of the Dead 2 O. Make sure you have that. Loop and Show. You don't need the Loop and Show with the extra zero. You just need this. Manic Panic, Maze of... Maze of Kings, uh, Ninja Salt, and Ninja Salt, you get all of these. And you can pause the video, write these down, or whatever you need to do. But anyways, copy these. Click, copy. If you just drag them over, it's just going to leave this. Go to your ROMs. Take it, taste it. Alright, we're good here. And do the same thing with your CHDs. You just need these three. Take them. Copy it and paste. Alright. Now, take this ROM folders. Copy it. Move into your House of the Dead emulator. And just drop the folder there. All right. Next, we are going to need to start our demo. Yeah, I just want to say that. Just say okay. Everything should be auto filled. Launchbox Emulator is demol. Let's make sure it's copied there. So we are all good here. It's in our ROMs. Everything looks fine. All right, check that off. Uh, go to your pad demo, right click on that, show your properties, make sure read only is not on. And you probably should do that for all these, just especially this one here. Make sure your read only is not checked. All right, everything looks good here. Go to your demo. Config. You can hit your video. Go. 
Go to your resolution size. Mine's 1920 by 80. V-Sync if you need it. I do. Don't need to start in full screen just yet. Go 16 by 9. Max layers. Put that at 8. Check disabled opaque and disabled translucent modifiers. 0 to 7000. Look good there. Go to your sound. You want to disable DSP. Max this out to 4096. Check OK. Configures. Go to controls. Arcade 1. So you're just going to put up to up. You can use your keyboard or your gun to do push one put that to enter i'm not sure if that part really matters make sure your coins at five sources at nine start is at one hit okay enjoy two don't need to mess with that coin just make sure that's at six your start is at two hit okay Okay, service, just know that your JV test is 0, your service is F2, and your test is F4. We're going to be using those quite a bit. Hit OK. Alright, next we're going to go to our config. Go to Naomi BIOS. We're going to uncheck auto select. Config. Go to Naomi BIOS again, and for this one, since this is our main DMOL, we want EPR 21577H USA. All right, and I believe everything for now looks good. Um, go to your file. We're going to test the game out, make sure we're running good. So, open Naomi, and we'll just do Confidential Mission. I always like to start off with that. Alright, give it a moment to load up. All right, it's kind of bring the screen in a little bit. And it's okay for guns are not running right now. Um, that's all we're doing right now is making sure we can get in, change some settings, and make sure they save. All right, so we're at credit zero. Put, I don't know, six credits. Now, very important, when you exit the game... Now, this is during pre-setting the settings. Once your settings on all your demo games are fine, then you can just hit your escape. But for now, do it with F4 and Alt. So F4, Alt, that will properly close the game. Open up your demo again. Check your game. Go back to Confidential Mission. Now if our settings save correctly, we should still have as many quarters as we put in. Confidential missions loading up. Press start, and we have six quarters. All right, so we're good. Um, now go ahead and get your demo started. Just a quick, easy way is just to open up the uh, launch box in this folder. Assuming that your guns are not already on. If they are on, that's fine too. All right, and to uh, show you that we don't need to do anything else in the launch box, all this should still run perfectly. 
Um, we'll get back to House of the Dead too. But let's click it, play. And it's okay if it's not going full screen yet. Um, we're not worried about that. We're just worried about having these settings saved. So you can see, it just relaunched up. Zero problems. Let it load. We have our six quarters. All right. Now, come up here. Go to File. Uh, stop. Go to your config, video, start, and full screen. Hit OK. Open up your confidential mission one more time. I want to show you how to calibrate this. And game, I don't think you really need to calibrate. But this is your F4. We can also mess with other options as well in here. Probably best you wait till after the uh, loading confidential mission screen before you try to get into your test settings. All right, now go ahead and try getting into it. Okay, so it'll be your F4, and then your F2 is going to allow you to go up and down. Um, you can go to coin assignments. You can put it on free play if you want. Go to game test mode. And it can take a bit to get through. All right, so F2 again. You want to go to game assignments. So you don't need to do that, but this gives you some things you can mess with. Gun adjustments. All right, so here's how you how you um change it. Player one. Yeah, I need to get my border up. I need a thicker border for this game. I forgot. <laughs> We're going to need to reset our... Set our reshade for this. Again. But again, that's not going to take very long. All right, ROMs, tools, the reshade, and go ahead and set this up for both your um, regular demol and the demol that's set for a House of the Dead. Browse. All right, so we're on House of the Dead 2. I want a regular demol right now. Click on that. Click open. Next. 10, 11, 12. Next. Skip. I just want sweet. Next. Uncheck all. I just want border. I mean, you can click the other ones if you want. That's up to you. All right. Hit that. Do this one more time. Browse. Emulators, now I want to do House of Dead 2, Demol, and just repeat the process again. Hit next. Direct X. 10, 11, 12. Skip. Next. Uncheck. Border. Next. Done. Alright, open this up again. Now, there's uh, three games where your calibration is going to look like this. But honestly, you know, let me get into the game itself, because I think you can. the game will actually just allow you to calibrate the game, your guns, while you're already in-game. And I know this goes for 
Maze of Kingdoms and one other game. So if the games do allow you to do that, then you really don't need to go to this calibration screen. But if your guns are still off, then I would recommend it. You gotta fix our borders, hit your home button, skip tutorial. We just want border, border color, make it all white. Um, go for your size. For me, I'm about 20. That works for me. You probably can go smaller or bigger. Just test it out. And just hit home again to get out and save it. Yeah, so you can tell you're in English mode because that's in English. Okay, yeah, so you can just adjust your gun here. That one looks good. Okay, yeah, make sure when you're testing your gun too on this that you actually do have the quarters and you are in for that gun. All right, so everything looks good, calibrated. Now, remember, close it with your F4 and Alt button. If not, there's a good chance Demol might not save for you. Um, now let's go into Death Crimson O. Oh, right click on that. Go to your edit, edit metadata. Go to your launching. Make sure that you do have Deathcox O as your launching ROM. So I had issues running the non XO. Either it wouldn't run or I just couldn't get it to save anything. All right, double click and get into there. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, again, guys, I appreciate you watching this and uh, thank you for hanging around. Um, once again, like I said during the first video, I hate setting up Demol. I mean, I hate it with a passion. <laughs> I've never had a smooth experience doing this. I'm not sure if this will actually save my quarters or not. Well, let's go ahead and test it out anyways. All we're doing right now is testing, making sure everything's running good, clean. Um... I don't want to come back to Demol again. Well, for Naomi, I still have to come back and do this for a Thomas Wave and for a Karoo, but those are those are a lot easier than this is going to be. Those really don't give me issues. But for whatever reason, Naomi on Demol always does. I still want to come back to this, so I'm going to make sure I go through this everything with all of y'all one last time to make sure we're all on the same page and awesome we look good we have that get my guns loaded up start start yeah and as the mouse goes like i said um, you will need to use no mousey for it um i just don't like using no mousey when you can just buy your big box and not ever worry about your mouse oh uh, now this is partly english partly japanese like you just can't get rid of that i've tried everything i could and i just couldn't get out of that so we are stuck with japanese but as far as the gameplay goes everything else is fine let's see yeah that's good now I do think this is a game that you will that you do need to calibrate, so let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm pretty sure you need to calibrate on this game. But the calibration process uh, on this one should be easy. Yeah, see, even though it says USA version, we still get that Japanese writing. It's just kinda what we have to do. Alright, so we go see system assignments. We're good there. 
Uh, make sure you have two players in common. Uh, go to game test mode. Once it loads up, we're going to go do our gun stuff. Hit F2 to move this around. You can look on game assignments. Everything looks good there. Gun settings. Yeah, so be sure on this game that you do adjust your guns because I think on mine, it always threw my shot like way off to the left and up. But it's really easy to do. Just hit the center of that mark with your gun. One, two, and just make sure that looks good. Once it does, hit your player one start. Hit F2, go down to player two, and do the same thing. Shoot. Shoot. Everything looks good. And player one start. Make sure you do hit player one start. If you hit player two start, you'll have to redo it again. All right. Go down to F2. To exit. Exit again. Now remember, when you exit the game, make sure you do it with the... Well, exit out this first. F4. Once it boots to the game, then you can exit the game, like right here. Well, once it gets past Naomi screen, just wait for it to get to the full game. But be sure to exit with F4 and Alt. Because I think by just forcing it to close with Escape, as we always do, it doesn't properly close the game. So when the game doesn't properly close, there is a good chance that it is not going to save those settings. Um, I will skip House of the Dead for right now and just move on. Loop in the third. Now, I think, I'm pretty sure the alignment on this game is good. I don't think I've ever had to do the aim on it, but also could be the um, target shooting as well. How you calibrate this game. But we'll let it boot up. Make sure you read your warning sign. Now this can only be used in Japan. If you are not playing this in Japan, then you better have a VPN that says you're in Japan. You do not want the uh, government officials jumping in because you're shooting bad guys on a train. They don't care because you're not doing it in Japan. All right, player one, player two. Yeah, just let you know what to do. Okay, so this doesn't have like a gun setup. I'm shooting, I'm reloading. Oh, one way to test to make sure your um, demon shooter is working, just shoot with your player two gun. If you're drawing ammo from both player one and player two when you're shooting, then your demon is not set up correctly. All right, my shots are good, but let's say your shot is not and you do need to get into your test mode. You'll just go to F4 as always, hit F2 to move around. It'll be in your game test mode, looping the third shooting. Go to gun adjustment, and it's one of these, so it's just the same as confidential mission. And read the instructions, select with the start button, and pull with the trigger. So you can use your start button to move the arrow around. And let's say I need to mess up my right or top or anything, go to your check first. And if that dot is aligned where it should be with your your sight, then you're good. I'm good. But let's say I need to change something. Then I will move that to my right. Then I point at the right box, pull my trigger. And then you'll see the um, symbol change. Go to my left again. 
the top and down, but down her bottom and center and then go to check and everything looks good and then once you're happy you can just pull your trigger and you can do the same thing with player two and you don't even need to leave uh, you don't even need to leave this box so if i just go to right shoot my trigger on right left same thing up down then center then check and everything looks great hit your f4 to escape and save this go down to exit once your game loads up exit the game and remember to exit the game and I'm going to keep on pressing this with your F4 and Alt button But we're going to escape out of the menu first with the exit. Once the game loads up, make sure you're past Naomi, you're into the demo, you're into the title screen, whatever the game boosts you to. Then you can exit. You have to get past the warning. You don't want to say your corporation sending people at you. I have in the past, and it's it's not it's not fun. It's not fun at all. I mean, I started asking me questions about my grandmammy, and started asking me about my second girlfriend. I'm like, what are you talking about? I never had a girlfriend. So I called them out, then they ran off. <laughs> okay, F N Alt F four. Man, you paint it goes. That's just a weird game, but it should work for you. you should have any issues? Uh, Maze of Kings. Now, this one, it's very, very hard to run the um, calibration through the test menu, but it will let you set your calibration when you start the game. But go ahead and get to your menu. I think there's a, a few game options that we can change. Assuming they're not already changed for you. Um, let's go to your game test mode. Go to your game assignments. And yeah, there's really nothing you could change actually. We're all set. So to escape back to the game, going to exit out of the test mode. Let's go and take it to the other test mode, exit out of that. Give it about a couple of seconds before you hit the exit button. We're going to be sitting there waiting and wondering why the game's not exiting out for you. Alright, so we are looking good here. Get our coins in. Got my shots. Okay. So I'm looking good here. Just keep shooting the center till you're fine. My lower place, now I'm in the center. Now we're good. And then, of course, you can just hit your start button to escape, get out of that. Uh, the crosshair only shows up during your selection. I guess that just lets the other person know what you're using so you can have a game plan. But once the game starts, um, you're not going to have any crosshairs. And if you ever played this game, it's actually a pretty fun game. I enjoy this game. Yeah, now if we're not running... In uh, English bios, then all this is going to be like Japanese, so you're not going to know what they'll be what they're saying. Yeah, I thought you could bypass all that. 
yeah, the roots change. Um, you get multiple roots, but I think you almost always start off in 002. So I think your first two zones are always going to be the same. Okay, escape. Now, I made the mistake of actually using escape to get out. Again, don't... You don't escape that way right now, just Alt-4. Um, after you go through all these and you save your settings, make sure your guns work, then you can just start escaping as usual, because everything's going to be set. Ninja Assault. This game right here has given me the worst time ever. So, and this probably is what gave me the, the two days to figure all this out. But I got it running stable. I have both guns working. I have both guns reloading like they need to. And I'll show you some tricks on this game to make it way more enjoyable. Um, uh, first of all, let's uh, double check all this. Make sure you're running in just regular Ninja Assault, not Ninja Assault U. Just regular Ninja Assault. Yeah. So Ninja Assault, we're good there. Open the game. Alright, so here you're going to need to hit F4. Do that before the Naomi sign finished. Get into here. You're going to go to your system assignment. Change that to two-player. Go to exit. Go to your coin assignment. Set that to 27. That's going to set it to free play. Now, the reason it's important for free play is player 2 does not have a coin option. So, unless you want to be player 1 and always putting in quarters for player 2, you just set that to free play. And you got to make that change twice. So once here, and then once in the next screen. Oh, yeah. One thing I should have done before anything else. First thing you do, backup data clear. Hit clear, completed. Once it lets you move around, then hit no. All right, now you can uh, make those changes again if you have already. All right, so that's already on there. Yeah, definitely make sure you back up data clear. First thing you do. All right, then you can get the game test mode. I think that just starts the game. Give it a few seconds. Okay, so we're going to get here. Now hit your zero. Free play. Turn that to on. Oh, now this is where the up and down configurations come from. So I'll show you. So unlike using F2 like everything else in this menu, you have to use up and down to move. So, coin options, free play, enter, and you have to do the enter button. Hit on, enter, exit. Hit exit. All right, hit your IO test. Go to gun, initialize, go initialize one. Grab your player one gun, hit enter. All right, now just shoot your crosshair, shoot your crosshair again. One more time, you're good. Now make sure you hold up and hit enter. Up and enter. If you do not and just hit enter, it's going to make you recalibrate again. And this initializes it. If you don't do this, then neither gun is going to work. Hit enter, exit, exit. And then you're going to hit circle, or I'm sorry, zero. All right, so we're set on free play. 
hit my start button for player two, start button for player one. Now, what, some of y'all may have had issues with player two not reloading, even if you did make it that far, or player two is not working at all. So with these new ROMs, um, the correct BIOS, can actually reload now. So we're good here, we're good here. We got this game running smooth. Okay, now remember, hit your F4 and Alt to escape to get out of this game. Play the game. Now this has actually been kind of random for me to set up right. And honestly, I'm not 100% confident that this is still going to be correct. But we'll find out when we get to the main screen. The uh, coins will read either free play or zero one. Fingers crossed that it says free play. If it doesn't, then I guess you just roll the dice to see what happens. And here we go. We are on free play. Thank God. <laughs> But we're not totally out of the water yet. Now we got to make sure both our guns are working. I've had it to where it saved my free play, but it didn't save my guns. So as long as we're hitting something, then I know they're working. All right, we're good. Now the problem I, I had is I'd be shooting and the bullets would, would um, be used up, but I wouldn't hit anything. It'd be like this. I just got my gun close to the screen but that's what it would do to me i'm just simulating it but it works and since we got it set up we can just hit escape now get out of the game yeah. we are good so we have these games properly working and now let's go back and get get a house of the dead working properly the issue with that one that I was having is I couldn't get it to uh, save the settings. And the reason why that's a big deal is that's the difference between you hitting the zombies and blood's coming out or the blood's going to be green. Who, who wants to see green blood? We play House of the Dead for the gore, for the blood. So let's go ahead and get that properly set up. Uh, so let's get our... You have to set up our House of the Dead 2 emulator. Alright, so just make sure you find that. LG emulators, House of the Dead 2. Okay, and we're just going to set this emulator up again. <clears throat> Go to your ROMs. Now, since we're only using this for House of the Dead 2, um, you can delete the ones you're not going to use. Um, I'm just going to leave them all in there as is, though. But that's up to you what you want to do. Um, open up your Demol. Yeah, just want to say that. And uh, make sure it reads your emulators and House of the Dead 2 and all these. All that should automatically populate. Hit OK. Go to Config. Naomi BIOS, uncheck auto select, and really important, you have to go to House of Dead 2 USA. So this is a reason why we have a separate demule for House of Dead 2 because it has to run on the House of Dead 2 USA. If you don't, then when House of Dead starts up, it's going to say like error code one, not correct ROM. It's the correct ROM. You're just using the wrong BIOS. All right, but that is save. Go to your config, of course. Video, we'll just vsync it. Start in full screen. Vsync if you do need it. My monitor is pretty basic and crappy, so I have to have it. 16 by 9 by 8. Okay, that should be checked if it's not. Uncheck, check, check, check. Just uncheck those two. Okay. Config. Go to sound. Do your sound. 
max that out should be 40 by 96 yeah uh, disable at DSP okay um, controls we don't need to do anything crazy uh, joy one should be good um, go to uh, joy two and just make sure your coin says six your start button says two hit OK hit OK again okay we'll just run this as a test so all we're worried about is house of dead 2 just hit it a couple times house of dead 2 usa hit okay let it load up all right we're good make sure you set your reshade use your home button skip tutorial border border color jack it up put your size mine's 20 i think anything from 17 to 20 is good to test with but that is up to you what you want to do okay we're good now getting to our menu that's going to be your F4. Go to F2, go to game test mode, come to game assignments, change that blood color to red. Um, you can do your guns if you want. Me, I think mine are fine. Oh yeah. Um, do not try to gun gun um Try not to calibrate your guns just yet, because since we launched this through regular Demol and not through LaunchBox into Demol, it's not going to bring up the um, Demol shooter. So don't worry about the gun check just yet. All right, but hit F4 to get out of this. F2 to exit. Exit again. Oops. I hit F1. If you ever wonder what F1 does, that's what F1 does. Exit. Let it load up. Alright, now make sure you F4 and Alt to get out. All right, minimize or close this window. Open up House of the Dead 2 again, but right-click it to make sure that it's still using House of the Dead 2 to open. Media data, launching, and we do want House of the Dead 2, not House of the Dead 2.0. Emulation, check that. We have a House of the Dead 2 there. And if it says just regular d just click the down arrow, go to House of the Dead 2, or however you named your House of the Dead 2 emulator. Hit OK. Open this up again, and now we open it through LaunchBox, the uh, demo shooter is going to open along with it. So now we can test and uh, calibrate our gun. Alright, so remember, hit um, F4. I want to make sure that my blood is saved, so just go to your system assignment. Well, game test mode, then game assignment, and we have red blood. Um, gun settings, I probably would suggest just adjusting it because I think the aim is just a little bit off on this game. It's not horribly off. I mean, it's very playable even if you don't do this, but it, it just makes for good practice. All right, so hit your F2. You have two to gun adjustments for player two. Hit F4 to get into it. All right, and just repeat. Shoot the center of that grid. Follow your gun, not the mouse. Hit to exit. So it'd be F2. Uh oh, on this one, you'll need to make sure your gun is on screen to leave it. Leave it there. We're good.
Um, start one, two, get out. Yeah, so it says your gun's off screen, just aim it back on screen. I think that's a player two gun issue. But we know it looks good now. F2 to exit, or F2 down to exit, and then exit again. Uh, do make sure that when you exit again, you are using F4 and Alt. That's going to save your gun calibration. And uh, while we're here, let's uh, go ahead and test this out. I just like to fast forward through all this, and we have good old fashioned glorious blood. And everyone, that is it. We are done with Demol for Naomi. Everything should now be working perfectly for you. Um some some uh, final thoughts reminders be sure to get the correct roms that i put at the beginning of the video do you want the split list before i use a split list i couldn't get house of that two to save anything and the ninja assault i could not get the right gun to reload properly it was so random it was frustrating the rest of the games i really didn't have much issues with outside of them just randomly not saving some settings with so the calibration of those games were pretty good that i'd really just never noticed until i'd done this video that was how awful it was so be sure get the split roms be sure to grab your naomi and your naomi 2 bios from those ROMs, just follow all the steps I did, leave your folders that you already created for your Demol, your Demol House of the Dead 2, but delete everything else and start fresh. But since you've already done the work on LaunchBox, like all this right here is already saved, so it's going to launch to the correct directories. And once again, that's why it was important that we uh, done the foundation in the very beginning of all this so we can make troubleshooting or anything else you need to change just so much easier. And anyways, guys, um, that is it. On the uh, next video, I'm going to bring a platform called Tools. And it's just going to make things way more convenient so you don't have to keep on going back and digging into our directories to make changes or whenever we're adding other things into LaunchBox. Um, after tools, I'm going to do American LaserDisc. So that's going to be up next. And after that, I will probably take about a week or two break. Um, I've got some stuff in my RK system I need to do and get done and also kind of give me a head start on the uh, next chapter of what we're going to cover uh, but for now this will still be my main priority I want to get us through American LaserDisc I want to get us through a Sega Model 3 which I want to give you a heads up right now that's just going to be a one player system because trying to make both guns work is Pretty much like retro arch is, it keeps changing your mouse ID, so it's going to be swapping everything around anytime you try to reboot or move anything out. And it's just much easier to leave that as a one player deal. Um, anyways, guys, that is it. That's all I got for you. Thank you very much again. And glad that we all was able to barrel through the pain the ass that's called Naomi for Demol. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have a good day, good night, wherever you're at. I want to go out and give me some lunch now. Peace out.